Well, guys, here it is. I woke up this morning at 7 a.m. to about 50 phone calls in 50 voicemails. Everybody is flooded in. The whole entire town of McGregor got flooded. We got 10, no, 11 inches of rain last night, flash flood, and now the Mississippi spilled into town. Garrett, this is going to be a busy day. Man, I've been looking at our system all day, like where all the calls come in, and it's not looking pretty. Yeah, our website crashed and everything. We're the biggest tow outfit around town, so we brought the big guns out, and we're just, Garrett, all we're going to do is hook up to the car's trucks what we're actually have to do a motorhome and a cop car and bring them on to dry land so it's not supposed to rain anymore hopefully look at those deer they're they're drinking the water in there holy biscuits <laughs> that's cool all there's plenty of water to go around that's right jump in let's get going hopefully garrett we got to be careful i don't know there's spots where they say it's two three four feet deep but right now it looks pretty shallow and i think the water has gone down some it, it was more of a flash flood so holy cow these tow trucks are so heavy that they should be able to keep gripping oh yeah the grip isn't an issue it's just water getting in the engine and the intake you know pretty much destroying the engine so the water is actually down a bit but like here we got this cop car first here i'll get it there's like a All van right. up there so garrett i think water has went down like a foot so imagine another foot i don't know if we'd be able to get in here i do have some reports of some vehicles that split off the road too so we're gonna have to have some trickier calls oh after okay this. the water was moving like the current was moving a bunch yeah exactly there's some hummer and said that someone's parked on their vehicle i don't even know what that means gotcha all right well garrett you, oh you're already getting hooked up here you need a hand man man i i did it already you're just slow i am slow by the way pretty much i think about every car yeah this one has the keys left in it so they said i mean try and crank on it i guess if it runs but okay yeah nothing it just it did it, it didn't even do anything but once we get it to dry land they'll start to drain out waters are actually starting to come out the tailpipe and stuff there now that you got it lifted yeah man that is crazy and we did tell the community to if you guys have tow hooks put them on so hopefully some people actually listen to that heck yeah garrett's hooked up there let me start winching up this cop car here let's get the winch going there we go we got the cable attached i gotta lower the bed a bit but garrett this i think mine yours is pretty good but mine's gonna be really nice because it's just gonna take two seconds and we're gonna get a lot of cars going here here we go we're winching check that out garrett isn't that nice there you go nice and slow okay now i'm fast winching it now man there we go winch it on there heck yeah looks good garrett get ready to strap her down i guess we don't yep you know what screw it we don't even need to strap it down we, we're just going like a mile down the road such a bad idea but okay well we're gonna be going so slow too man we're in a foot of water i guess that's true and there's no Fair traffic enough. so oh yeah no traffic is definitely light today i get i'm what i'm surprised is pe some people have like uh i guess the water's just going down now probably everybody's dealing with flooded basements flooded you know roads and stuff but mcgregor is is right on the water so we'll show you guys the river if we can get over there garrett that looks a little crooked but just keep going man oh yeah no i i notice all right so we're just gonna kind of leave them all here exactly yep just dry land all they want us to do well all we're gonna do is if we want to get everybody out today this is what we got to do we just got to get them to dry land and be done with it all right nice first two done took us about five ten minutes not too bad and then garrett i th we have a motorhome we had that blue van you saw on the main that was the only cop car i think he was trying to rescue somebody who was stuck in the water and then of course his his car gets stuck yeah a lot of people try helping out the neighbors and stuff like this which is really good when everything goes to plan but yeah then there's the other times yep uh, the one nice thing too is a lot of uh, a lot of the waters went down and then it was like the mississippi river is flowing to the ocean so there was a lot of current actually coming through here so some people some cars were actually getting like moved and stuff here's this van did it hit the pole i guess so or like i said garrett could have got washed too who knows yeah for sure well hey none of these are gonna need car washes after today that's true yeah they're plenty i guess well yeah the interior will be nice and nice and clean there we go what is this an ice cream truck or something hopefully they got some ice cream in there that's what it looks like i don't know what it is but all right here we go start winching there you go are Let you able jump to in. even I gotta pull that thing I, if i can steer oh uh yeah it's going a little crooked though i can't get the steering wheel there it goes yeah that's a little sketchy i'm gonna keep driving down the road to see what are the vehicles i can find because there's some pretty much everywhere 
There we go. Yeah, I can uh, I can help you out too. For sure. Get that one on dry land though. True. Yeah, let's get turned around here. Guys, look at this motel. The fire department is flooded. A lot of these houses are flooded. Look, the bank, Wells Fargo, and the gas station. So who knows what kind of damage they have here. Spencer, is your radio on? Yep, radio's on. I'm unloading the ice cream truck now. You need a hand? Uh, yeah. So I found that Hummer. Yep. And yeah, they were right. A vehicle is parked on top of it. Dang. Okay. Uh, I'll be there in like two minutes if you need a hand. Okay. Sounds good. I'll send you my location right now. Sounds like he's got a little bit of a car pile up. Maybe they got stuck on something. The water just kept pushing and pushing. Here we go, guys. Here's the, yeah, it's on the river. Here's the Mississippi River. Oh, they got swept into it. Oh gosh. Garrett, that looks tough, man. Yeah, man. I, I'm connected to the van that's yeah. on top, but. Okay, you want me on the Hummer then? I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I hope when we start pulling, it doesn't shift it all around. Okay, here we go. Looks like I'm down. Looks like I'm good. Oh, it's deep, man. Good thing I got my waders on. Yep, there you go. Okay, so what if we just kind of pull these at the same time? That works. Just pull them apart. Ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one, winch. Here we go. The Hummer's coming. Yep, there uh, goes the van. There we. Oh, there we are. Perfect. I think they are free. Okay, nice. Yeah, just got to get these in. But yeah, there's a little bit of a current standing here. It's kind of pushing me. Oh, yeah, no, I'm feeling it too. There we, we go. go. Come on, Hummer. It's coming on a little crooked here. There we go. Nice. Got the Hummer up. Dude, this flatbed is so nice for these types of jobs. But yeah, for things like that where you really got to get in or lift something really heavy, nice to have the wrecker on. Yeah, and you said somewhere we got a call about some motorhome or something. Yeah, I think the last thing is we got a big, I think it was a Tiffin motorhome. So high end. Sounds like they... They, the storm was coming in and they got out of the campgrounds like there's campgrounds on the river and then they just went to applebee's to wait it out well that didn't work out and the motorhome flooded well guys here is here's applebee's yep so gary it's on the corner it's uh 22nd street and iowa street okay i am on my way over oh yeah come I see us sunday see and mondays it. for six dollar burgers and fries dude that is that's a good deal i th i think they might be closed for a little bit yeah yeah they got water in there but here's this motorhome man they were just trying Wait. to escape the storm and they got the worst of it are you gonna try putting that on your flatbed uh oh yeah yeah i thought i could okay Let's, let's try it. Let's see what happens. I guess I didn't really, uh, yeah, this is a big motorhome. I thought it was a little smaller. No, man, it, it, this is like a $400,000 motorhome. <laughs> it's probably more than that, too. All right, we're winching it on. This is crazy. Yeah, I hope they can fix this thing. This is what, like, it's a diesel engine in it. Yeah, it's got a diesel engine. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a mechanic, but I think getting water out of the engine is pretty tough. Here, you want to, let's try and strap it down or something. It probably would have made sense to use your, uh, your rig there, but... I kind of hey, thought it would be cool. It is what it is. I just hope that doesn't slide off yours. Yeah, it might, as long as the wheels stay on, right? Yeah, you are close. <laughs> yeah, we might have to disconnect and use yours, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll make it. Just hold on. Just buck it <laughs> okay. a little bit. There we go. Yep, that is sketchy. We will keep that one off of our Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it off the Instagram. Don't take any pics. Just see, as long as we get it there, the water did most of the damage. Yeah. For sure. Now, I think there was a U-Haul near there I was looking at. Let me see if I can go find that one. Okay, here's this motorhome. We better get it unloaded here. Oh, Spencer. Yep. Um, we have a bad one here. What's wrong? It, it's 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 flooded. Like okay. it is. Yeah. 10-4. I'm unloading the RV now. This should be the last call unless we keep getting more and more calls. Maybe on the other side. Main bridge, you said. There we go. Let's keep following. But yeah, last. Oh, there he is. Last call of the day. Here we go. We pretty much rescued the whole entire city. Besides, we can't suck the water out but where where's... take a look oh my goodness garrett this is literally just mud that we're walking in and then yeah you would probably get stuck that's a good point i wonder if they like parked it on the grass and then once it was flooded it just gravity did its thing you know yeah who knows hopefully they still don't have to pay 1995 yeah no i i hope they don't but i'm gonna start pulling it okay all right go ahead looks good I hope my truck stays i didn't put my supports down because i don't think i need them the whole entire thing was underwater besides for a little bit of the cab that's crazy well, this is why you buy your 20 dollars insurance you know that's right smart move there we go. Fast winch it. Get her going. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, so much water. Yeah, it's sinking into the mud. Good thing you didn't pull back there. I would have told you that you could have, but 
Yeah, you would have gotten stuck. Yeah, no, I was going to, and then I got my just one back tire in there, and I said, nope. Gotcha. Sunk in a bunch. Smart move. And this is the last one of the day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. If you guys want to see more like flood videos like this, that was pretty fun and uh, glad to help everybody out. But let me know in the comments. Hit the like button. If you want to see more, we'll put all these straps back on here. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.